Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I'd like to talk today about Outlook and particularly the calendar in Outlook. Many people use Outlook but only for the email part. In other words they use this part here. But I'm just going to reduce that down. Um, they look and see that there is a calendar available to them down here and incidentally in this area I see the ellipses here, the three dots. If I click there and say navigation options then I can uncompact the navigation, click OK and in this version of Outlook, Outlook 2013, I will see the text commands down here. So. As I mentioned, most people can use this area. They'll start new email, etc., uh, etc., et and uh, send an email, and they'll see the calendar, but maybe not use it because it's something a little bit different. But I'm going to show you how to use the calendar. When I click on the calendar, I can see the ribbon across the top, which lets me create a new appointment, a new meeting, or in all of the ribbons in Outlook, the new items. If I click the drop arrow there, I can create a new email message from within the calendar. For example, email message there it is there. So I would um, uh, type that email, send it, etc. But um, I can also create new appointments, a new meeting, and various other new items, a new contact, a new task, etc. The new link meeting is something a little bit different in Outlook 2013. Don't worry about it uh, if you're not using link. The views available to me are a one day view, that one, so today's the 3rd of February and I see the times available to me. If I scroll down a bit I can see that at the current moment it's uh, around about 20 past 4 uh, and Outlook gives me an idea of the current time. The work week is set for Monday through Friday by default. If I want to see Saturday and Sunday as well then I can click on the week or the month. So they're the main views that we would use for our calendar. Now how does it work? Well I'm going to say I want to use the work week and here in the work week today being Tuesday the 3rd I want to make an appointment at 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning which is in that area there and I'll say uh, meet Bill to discuss salaries and when I click away then that will remain in the calendar and if I hover my mouse over it it will show me uh, a slightly larger version with some more detail if I want to expand the detail I can double click on this meeting and that opens up this particular window where I can say for example the location is uh, sixth floor and I see also that it has automatically put in the times for me I'll make the end time a little longer 10 minutes is short for a meeting it's going to go for an hour so I'll make it that it's not an all day event, it's just one hour. But when I don't have all day event ticked, I can set a reminder. And I want to be reminded at one hour before the meeting so that a little window would pop up at 10 o'clock on Wednesday the 4th of February to say that I have a meeting scheduled with Bill. Now, <coughs> importantly, I can also add the information down here, uh, office, salaries except for Tom. So I can add these other bits of information for me. Don't forget once you've made changes to this window save and close. So when I save and close there it is blocked out now that extra area for the one hour it's done that automatically and again hovering over that meeting shows me the um, the, the uh, extra bits of information. So that's how it works. Now on 
on uh, uh, Thursday at 10 o'clock I have a meeting with Mary morning tea and when I click away there we go if I wanted to make uh, further uh, changes to that or add information I can double click and up pops the window um, I might like a reminder on that the morning tea also might go for half an hour uh, and the reminder I want to be reminded by default 15 minutes uh, beforehand I'll just leave it as that and save and close then at um, around about 12.30 uh, I want to meet on Thursday with uh, Bill again finalise salary discussions so there we are now I have a search area here and I'm not quite certain what the situation was because now I'm back here at uh, 4 o'clock on Tuesday in other words I've gone back to today there we go and I'm not quite certain what the details were for Mary so I can search for Mary in the calendar and as soon as I release there it shows me what is involved for Mary it gives me a rundown of what's involved so to go back to the calendar I simply click on the calendar on the left hand side so there now if I go to the back to the mail I've finished setting up my appointments for the week I go back to mail and here on the right hand side I see the information for my meetings during the week with Bill, Mary and Bill again that's tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday so nothing very difficult at all about uh, the diary it is terrific in that it enables you to uh, keep track uh, electronically or digitally if you like of meetings that you uh, might have uh, appointments as it were and uh, that's the uh, simple way to use the diary don't be afraid of it uh, if you make a mistake all you've got to do for example Mary's rung to say that she can't make it for morning tea what I can do is right click on Mary and delete from there or I can double click on Mary whoops double click on Mary to bring up the window and delete it from within there or I can go to the mail module and right click on Mary when she comes up uh, sorry my apologies I'll double click on Mary and delete her from there so I have these various uh, ways of, of deleting so Mary just uh, disappeared from the from the meetings don't forget to subscribe we'd love to have you as a subscriber unless you already are and we also love likes and comments um, that's the calendar in Outlook just one final uh, point to make is that in, micros in Microsoft uh, uh, Office you can only have one calendar you can't have Outlook 2010 and Outlook 2013 uh, or uh, 2007 as well you can only have one version of Outlook at uh, any time on your machine. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll be putting up more videos on how to handle uh, meetings in more detail. But I hope that uh, this has given you a clue as to how the calendar works. Don't be afraid to use it. See you next time.